up everybody welcome back to the driveway engineer i'm jr i'm back at my favorite place the mason u pull you pull and save mason michigan i'm gonna wander around and see what kind of crap we can find out here today some of these vans if you guys didn't know not this one but some of them have a, a semi-float dana 60 if that's a thing you're into or looking for i've uh I like to wander around out here and see i mentioned before springs from the s10s they're pretty good for making your own packs for xj's and stuff like that pretty cheap cheaply um if you didn't know but you've been following along see this one probably had one the s10s have uh from like 2000 on maybe 99 they have a 411 pcm that you can actually use for an ls if you reflash it with pcm hammer and the pcm hammer videos are in the uh playlist this is a this is an lm7 cable drive it's got everything um hasn't been messed with this would be a good swap donor for sure i know they've been setting new cars out here i haven't been out here in a while oh two i've been out here in a while because they weren't setting new cars um Here's a disc brake 8.8. .8. The sports are always the two-door ones. Your spores always a good source for uh, disc brake 8.8s. We'll walk over here. I have my work shoes on, so I have like loafers on. Try not to bust my ass. A 46. I think that's a 373 open uh, axle code inside the door there. But yeah, they've been having a hard time with the pandemic with uh, this, the Secretary of State and getting titles and stuff. Somebody got this guy. It's weird that they cut that fender like that. People do weird shit in the junkyard. Another LM7. Somebody got the PCM out of it. I would still take this one. It's complete. If it spins, it wins. Yeah, it's icy. My loafers are not getting it. It's a 4.7. These four sevens are so disappointing. If you ever own one, you know what I'm talking about. My friend John owned one. He put like 390,000 miles on it. I can't imagine just being disappointed every day of my life for 390,000 miles. But whatever. Whatever is clever. What we got here? A Hemi. This thing's ready to go. I'm sure it's locked up. Um, well, not locked up. I'm sure that either... The water pump wobbles on it so it's been overheated it doesn't that water pump's good so it probably ate a lifter um so you'll probably find like my hemi maybe i'll insert a picture here uh one of those pistons is probably bad where it ate a valve when it ate a lifter but these are starting to get richard holdner just did a test too these are starting to get really cheap and really affordable they're starting to come out with more and more parts for them they have a bunch of parts with uh for swapping them into first gens and stuff i know dirty dingo just came out with some stuff they actually reached out to me recently and asked if i was interested and as usual i told them no but uh i'm not going to be doing a swap into my first gen but a four seven boo you guys haven't seen my new truck yet there is one it exists maybe you'll see it if i don't die out here what do we got in the car section the car sections usually i've never seen any ls type engine in a car out here but i've seen there's a charger i've seen multiple hemis in cars out here that cadillac's still here that thing's kind of cool i like it reminds me of a uh, license to drive it was one of my favorite movies when i was a kid I was always so fascinated with cars. I didn't know it was such a terrible, cheesy, cliched movie. When I was a kid, I didn't care. I just wanted to ride around a big ass Cadillac and check out all the other cool cars. I personally always liked big cars. Um, I'm a big guy. It's easier for me to fit in them. As I get older, I start to understand like my dad more and more where, you know, I didn't really, care so much he didn't care so much about speed as he did comfort 
my dad had like a Lincoln Mark 8 and stuff like that. So luxury cars that were still fast. Of course, it's not going to win any drag races, but you can run it at 120 miles an hour down the freeway all day long and never get tired. I'm going to roam over here to the import section real quick before I wrap this video up. I think most of this side is still the same. I noticed they are getting more cars in lately. They've had problems getting titles, like I said. So I think they're starting to resolve that. But yeah, I want to roam over here to the import section. I'm kind of fascinated with the idea of a TDI now. I don't have anything to put one in. But if I did... I might. I see a couple likely candidates, but I don't feel like walking out there in the ice and breaking my neck. Because now I've been distracted by something I saw over here. These Fords used to be like the go-to beater with a heater here in Michigan, at least. These uh, 80 to 96. You can get one with a straight six. This one's a 302. You can get one with a straight six for, you know, five, six hundred bucks. Five speed manual and drive the shit out of it forever. Oh, this is a 351. I can tell that it's a 351 because there's a space between the water pump and the deck. So I know that this is a taller deck motor. I don't know why somebody came out here and took the upper intake and one cylinder head, but I never know why anybody does it. Oh, it's an F-250, duh. Of course it's a 351. But yeah, if you're looking at them in the junkyard, the quick way for me to tell the difference between a 302 and a 351 is the 302 is a short deck, so the deck is literally right on top of the water pump bolt. There's a big space on that one, so I know it's a, I know it's a 351. I don't know what this guy is, a 5.4 probably. Oh, it's a 4.7, duh. Sometimes I'm, sometimes I'm a little slow on the uptake. Here's a sweet cold air intake for your uh, Vortec 4200. Um, another tip, I don't know, since the front of this is kind of tore apart, I don't think I can get you in there to see though. These have giant hydraulic motor mounts on them. I actually, kind of looked at them I, I wound up going with the ford 300 way out of that truck also has a giant hydraulic motor mount so to build mounts for my uh mercedes diesel i'm using those because they're like i don't know 20 bucks a piece and they're hydraulic so they won't have so much uh vibration from the diesel i really like these vans but my wife hates rape vans so it bums me out every day i'd really like to get one and cruise around in it I'd like to get one of everything though and cruise around in it. So here we have the big boy. Um, this is a 460. That's pretty neat. If you didn't know, a 460 out of the common big blocks, a 440, 454, the 460, this one can go to 514 inches without grinding or anything at all. Um, it was DuraSpart. Somebody cut that one out. People suck. But the DuraSpark boxes are pretty valuable nowadays because they don't reproduce them. Well, they do, but the aftermarket ones suck. This one's smashed and full of corrosion, so I'm sure it doesn't work. But yeah, if I wanted to build a big block on a budget, it would be a 460 Ford if I just didn't care about any other factor. Got another 8.8 over here. There's all kinds of hot rod parts out here. I wish I, had, I won the lottery. I'd come out here and build a can't get in there can't get in there to read the door tag but uh another 8.8 .8. it would be cool let me see here that's a two-wheel drive truck so you take that 460 and c6 put it in there maybe put it in the two-wheel two-door one that'd be a good time run it on 87 octane never care that seven and a half one to compression Spray it when you want to go fast. Burnouts for days. Definitely be a good time. I think, uh, oh, that truck over there had the 454 in it. 
yeah these trucks they used to be everywhere now this is the beater with a heater winner mvp but it used to be these I had a bunch of those trucks my brothers had a bunch my friends have all had a bunch um they used to really go the distance you can get one for a few hundred bucks and drive it for a few years Four fifty four still here. Ooh, that would be the one. If I were gonna build something from the junkyard, it would be this guy right here. Probably doesn't have an eight point eight. Some Rangers do. Oh, that's a four cylinder. It definitely doesn't. But that's okay because there's an eight point eight right there. Yeah, I, I would build this guy. What else can we find to build it with? We got a. Oh, that's a expedition. We got an 8.8 .8 over there in the green explorer. We got this. We could do the 460. That would be fun. A little old school. If you want to go new school, we have those two five threes over there. One of the challenges in Michigan is always going to be almost everything's four wheel drive. People just you don't really have to have it, but people feel like they do. Bravada. So that had the wrong connector. Somebody took the PCM, but I don't know why. Had the wrong connectors. These do have a, because they're all wheel drive, they have a more solid uh, disconnect in the front in the S10s. So yeah. You take that axle, throw it in that truck. Got 373s and an 8.8. .8. We know we got a five three two five threes over here we can make something happen with my little dream boat here that'd be a good time these rams with the magnums in them they just stack these things up like cordwood and i'm always on like the because i have a magnum engine i'm on a couple of the magnum groups transmission's already off this one is easy pull um People are always like, where can I get an engine? I'm like, there's fucking 50 of them in the junkyard at any given time. I'm kind of disappointed to see Builder. This thing ran. They should have oh man. This would have been a good one. Sorry to see you go, buddy. We'll, we'll have a beer for you. All right, I'm gonna quit waxing the static about my weird dreams of uh, building a Ranger with a 5.3 in it. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the trip through the junkyard. Um, here we go. As usual, right when I'm ready to leave. 411 PCM, so you can pull that if you can't. We can use that one in the 5.3 with no PCM. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. We'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer.